well to collect Robshaw's wayward pass before finding Mike Brown. The fullback's kick was precise and Anthony Watson got in for the touchdown on his championship debut. The referee checked that the Bath winger's touchdown was legitimate, but there was little question and Stuart Lancaster's men had struck a vital blow. Beautiful grubber from last season's player of the tournament and a gift for Watson. George Ford's conversion came back off the woodwork, but England were within five. After that, England got their noses back in front. Youngs made the initial charge for the line before passing inside to Ford. In the follow-up, the ball broke loose and Anthony Watson picked it up to cross for England's second try of the match. Again, the TMO was called into action to check for a knock-on in the lead-up to the try. But the Watson... Wigglesworth switches. Wigglesworth switches. Finds Slade and Watson. Watson looks to go on the outside. Oh, that is brilliant. Great use of the feet. And that initial burst of pace devastated. Weber hitting Cruz. That works nicely. Wigglesworth and Farrell and Burgess and Farrell again. And here comes Johnny May. Now, Johnny May doesn't need much of a gap. Nor does Watson. He's in the get, I think. Oh, yes, he is. What a start. For Anthony Watson, what a Taken by Courtney Laws, Launchbury go, Launchbury on for his 24th cap. It's a blood replacement for Jack Parling. And part of this England drive. Tom Young's holding at the base. Ben wants it now, gives it to George Ford. Crossfield kick meant for Anthony Watson. Zebo goes up. Oh, Watson's got it! is good in the air it's just undone by the perfection of the kick and the timing of Anthony Watson's charge well Watson's finish is in that corner against Frank uh, Wigglesworth to Ford have they managed to work some space maybe what is waiting outside Anthony Watson England on their way had to score We've had to wait 55 minutes for an England player to run so hard and determined to get over the line. Uh, Danny Kerr really looking forward to this evening. Getting this on his rugby CV, lovely pass. Scoop releases Jack Noll. The ex of the Chief flying down the wing. Anthony Watson's going to beat him to it. Is he down there now? The referee will go back and look at this to see whether Watson was ahead of the kicker. Nothing wrong with it. Simple try from here. Paul, quick hands to go, and Watson scores the first try in the first half and the first try. In with the try line in sight, England had several men over wide on the left. The looping pass was collected by Anthony Watson, who was over for an easy score. Farrell missed the difficult conversion, but England were 14 points to 10 ahead. Back on. We're dominating. After 32 minutes, Maro Itoje showed his strength, finding Mike Brown, who picked out Anthony Watson, and the winger was over for his ninth try in his last 11 tests. Watson scored against Ireland last time, and this was a crucial score to give England a healthy first-half advantage. Farrell added the extras, and England were 16 points to nil ahead, and that's how it stayed until half time. Crashed over halfway to instigate an English attack. Ben Youngs carried it on and chipped ahead. Anthony Watson picked it up and managed to hold off Fofana's tackle to get it down for a third English try. The winger had scored against France at Twickenham last season, and this one was another big score. Farrell missed the conversion from wide, but the lead was back to seven points. To brace it. We've come to expect from him in Northampton colours. There's Joseph. On to Watson. Watson, who just can't stop scoring for England. Has he done it again? What some finish. That's a try. He was right to be confident. He made it 23-7 before a third try just short of half-time put England comfortably ahead. 
Joseph again displaying wonderful running skills and with Bath teammate Anthony Watson on his shoulder in support it was another try. Watson had come on as an early replacement for the injured Daly. This was a real blow for Scotland coming shortly before half time. Farrell converted. It was 30 points to 7 at the interval. Eddie Jones' side made the start that reflected that confidence. A beautiful movement of the ball from left to right through the hands of Farrell, Ford, Teo and May before Anthony Watson finished in the corner for a superb opening score. A perfect start for the visitors and a crisp finish from the bat winger. Owen Farrell failed with the conversion but England 5-0 up after just three minutes. However, the English were dealt a blow soon Bye. after when scrum half Ben Youngs went Seven. off with a serious-looking leg injury. Danny Kerr came on. No sooner had the match resumed than England were back in full flow and one man in particular. When May fed Watson out wide, the winger still had plenty to do, but the Italian defence was slack and Watson hit top gear to charge for the corner and dot down for his and England's second try of the game. It was a wonderful score from the 23-year-old who showed strength and great pace and although Farrell missed the conversion, England were cruising 10-0 ahead with just over 10 minutes played. There's Ford and Sinclair with hands again to find Laws. Lovely deft touches from Sinclair these days. And here is Anthony Watson! Who's back after all that time out injured. And is away. Finds support. Some of Karevi, Kirtley Beale cuts back the other way. Chased down by Jonathan Joseph. The last of the subs. Anthony Watson picks off the pass. The job is complete. No stakes with the ball in hand. What ball he's got, he's done so much with. And that's the icing on the cake for England. The inside ball to Watson. Watson! The fourth minute, and Anthony Watson, his first appearance in the Six Nations this season. And what a step that was. He's popping up in good positions. Is the England outside centre. Now it's Sinkler, the ball in behind Mario Atoje, but no knock on. Beautiful by Courtney Laws. Johnny Hill. And here's Watson's going to coast his way through to the line. And that Italian defence was sucked into the vortex. Run out of ideas as the phase is built. Can they create here? No, they can't. They just give the ball away to Anthony Watson. And Gorbisi, with all his pace, is not going to catch the British and Irish Lion. Anthony Watson, who scores his second try, and with it, the bonus point for England. If they want them, but it gives them the security of a free hit. Carl Sinkley out there to Youngs, there's George, chance for Anthony Watson! He's got the ball down, England have got the try. Excellent try from Anthony Watson, great feet to step inside, power through the tackle. And we saw how good he was last week against Italy. Not getting anywhere that time. There's the ball for the scrum half. Ford, Marco Vunapola. Here's Henry Slade. Three metres away this time, England. Youngs, Ford, and now surely for Watson. And Anthony Watson gets his fourth try of the championship. With pace. Uh, it's just that standing stuff, really good on the eye to watch. Well done, Anthony Watson, on your 50th cap. 